Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. We are coming at you from Lake Somerville State Park. The and Trailway. The Birch Cove. Yes. <laughs> uh, section. There actually are two parts to this, to this state park. And we are at the end of a four day, actually four night, five day, uh, stay and have had a great time. It's been wonderful. This is a beautiful park and the trailway. It was great to ride on. I wouldn't want to ride on it with anything less than a mountain bike. Uh, having the the fat tires really did help out and so we want to talk to you. The trailway was awesome and great. Uh, All together I think they say there are 26 miles of trails. However, not all of those are open all of the time. And the trailway wasn't open all the way. Yeah, we um, we rode out 3.8 miles and uh, it was a beautiful ride and... And a fun ride. And then we did drive around to the Nail Creek uh, section. Didn't take a lot of pictures over there because it's all equestrian, or at least I, the vast majority is equestrian. And Frankly, if you're coming to the park, unless you just want to burn some daylight hours, I wouldn't highly recommend going over there unless you're equestrian. Or, uh, but this park, and I don't mention this that often, but I am so impressed. There are 113 campsites, and first of all, let's just say the 113 campsites are divided into about, I think it's six different camping loops. Yes. So it's not huge camping loops, but there are four, count them, four really nice, clean, and they all look to be functioning Large. dump stations. And if you've ever been to a campground that had one for a <laughs> hundred. For a hundred or a hundred and fifty campers, you know that you can get in a long line there and waste a lot of time. And so I was just totally impressed with and they all do look clean they all yes. do look open and so that was cool uh, this was a park we hadn't been to because this is one that on their homepage they have alligator etiquette <laughs> and we're not we didn't see alligators no and we knew this is summer of 2020 when we're recording this in june uh late june but we are because of covid 19 we're not swimming this year and so we decided this would be the perfect time to come and check out some of the parks that have alligator warnings this is one of the, this the only <coughs> state park we've been to this is the only park we've been to where we've seen snakes and the first one was when we were heading out on that trailway <laughs> we'd gotten over there about a mile a little over a mile and at first I thought it was a stick and I stopped. Uh, I could see it up on the trailway and um, stopped and I got a rock and threw up there and... We do want to anger them. <laughs> yes. Well, I wasn't sure. I yes. thought it, it was laying straight across the trailway and in all of the pictures I've seen of snakes in the wild, they're curled up and... Uh, or they're moving or something. And wind noise, we're sorry. We've tried to move where we're not going to get as much. But anyway, so I threw a rock just to see. I thought someone killed that snake. They put it there just to freak people out, and it's working. And so I threw a rock, and I could not believe it. It is 10 feet or so. I hit within just about three inches yeah, of, maybe two. I mean, of the snake's close. head. And it was kind of gravel, and, and the rock bounced. And I said, see there, the snake's dead. And then it turned around and slithered off. <laughs> That was all we saw of the trailway yeah. that night. Uh, and then this morning we were riding yes. over, and it's the, uh, what's the name I of that camp? I don't know what it is. We'll it's put that on that here. It starts with a Y. That those are a little more sunny sites. Yes. And being here in the summer, that's not what you want. Uh, these sites we're going to talk about. But anyway, there was a snake over there. Same thing. It was They were laying in the shade because it's hot. And it was laying, it was stretched out, and we rode past it before we even realized what it was. Thankfully not over it. <laughs> but uh, the sites, the campsites here are impressive. All of them. And yeah. I'm going to show you a clip of ours. Okay, to show you how secluded these campsites are. Here's the road, and then this is how thick the foliage is. You can see the road there. 
there actually is an RV way back through there. That's just light coming through the trees. But there's an RV back through there. I can barely hear his air conditioner, but he is in the next campsite. Behind us, there's nothing. Kind of back in this corner right in here, that is a maintenance uh, facility area thing. We haven't heard much from there. Um, there is a campsite, but it's so far over that way, you can't really, you can't really see anything. And then across the street, uh, there is, maybe you can see, right, whoops, where's my figure? Right, there is the truck, and I think that's the beginning of the RV. But you can see they've got a lot of thick foliage, too. And most of them are like that, where you're not going to see people in the mm -mm. sites next to you or across the street. No. And it's, we had a huge site. The camping, I mean, the parking area wasn't exceptionally large, but the site is. Uh, like mm -hmm. three or four places to put a tent. That's another thing we want to talk about, was camp, the parking. Yes. This, we've been to a number of Texas state parks that are on lakes. And the vast majority of them have overflow parking just close to a lot of campsites. Yeah, they will have possibly two or three overflow parking camps, uh, parking areas within a camping loop of, say, 30 Yes. Uh, they'll have room for maybe eight extra cars in that loop. Then that loop. There is a restroom, I think, at every loop, which has some parking, and so I guess that could be used as overflow parking. But I mean, right now, I'm thankful that when we leave in the morning, the boat that's parked on the road <laughs> yes. is the opposite direction we're going to need to go. That we're going to be able to get out without going by it because. There's just not overflow parking. And uh, so, just want to point that out if you're going to be coming here. But, because this is a Texas State Park, <laughs> we don't have a fishing license this year. But we're getting <laughs> ready to go fish. <laughs> we're going to head over on the shore on the other side uh, of the day use area. And it's a really nice day use area. We're going to show you some video yes. that we've taken of that prior. Um, and that it is really nice. And before we go fishing, I do want to mention that there is also equestrian camping here, but I believe it has no hookups. It has water in the area, but it doesn't have electric. And the ones at the Nails Creek may have had I think electric. they had electric for their equestrian sites. And then something else we want to mention, we have, uh, almost exactly a year ago, we each bought half of a duplex in uh, Central Texas. And we've gotten used to much more arid <laughs> yes. uh, climate in Texas because there are various climates and regions in Texas. We're and about a north, an hour north of Houston. Hour, hour and a half north of Houston, and it's it hot. is humid. <laughs> it is humid here, and uh, so if you're not used to that, and this is that was another thing we wanted to mention was this park is absolutely gorgeous. Yes. But I think I would also like to come back here in the fall sometime. Yes. I think this would be a really pretty park to be in the fall. And then another thing we want to mention are the ADA sites. There are a number of, I Big. mean, I'm looking because we're just yes. standing here at uh, an ADA site that backs up at the lake. There are a number of ADA sites and many of them like our, will have a, uh, they have the, the sidewalk paved to the restroom. They have sidewalk paved obviously to their picnic table and stuff like that. But there are a number of sites like that, and there are even a couple of shorter trails. Yes. And so um, we know that, you know, we just love seeing our Texas yes. State Parks make everyone yes. feel welcome. And so we are really enjoying our time here and looking forward to having some fun. Probably aren't going to catch anything, <laughs> but we're going to go have some fun. And um, we are on stop one of four of kind of our gator. <laughs> Our gator loop, <laughs> the parks that um, that are a little bit further south than we usually go, uh, and we're having a great time, and we're looking forward to heading down the road. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired, Tired Teachers. Teachers.